kids, it's Mrs. Davis from Happy Place to Grow. Welcome back into my channel. I am so glad you are here for video four. It's October. We've been talking about all things fire prevention, fire safety, firefighters. Today's going to be a fun video because you're going to be involved. And our focus today is going to be on the fire station mascots. His name is Sparky the Fire Dog, and we are going to be drawing this fun dog together. Now, before we do that, we're going to go over this poster, and it says we're going to meet a firefighter, and he's going to introduce us to his dog, Hooper, and let's find out more about being a firefighter because some kids asked Kevin, he's a real firefighter, some questions and he gave some really good answers to the kids. So let's find out more from Kevin. Question number one said, what is the best part about being a firefighter? Here's Kevin's answer. And just in case you were thinking when you grow up, you want to be a firefighter, these answers are going to help you. He says, the best part is friendship, the friendship of the other firefighters. We all have to work in the firehouse and we all have to work together to fight fire. So the friendship and the togetherness. Question two, what why did you become a firefighter? That's a great question. And here's Kevin's answer. I wanted to help people. So you know firefighters have to be trained, they have to be brave, but they have to be able to work with people and they have to want to help people because that's their main focus. And then question three for Kevin was, do you have any tips for kids who want to be firefighters? And here's his answer, which I thought was really interesting. You need good physical fitness and you need to be a team player. And those are two things you can be working on now, even though you're a kid, you can make sure you're in good physical shape. We learned a lot about firefighters and how they have to climb ladders, they have to be able to move on ropes. They have to carry heavy equipment. They may even have to take people out of burning buildings and people are heavy. So you have to be in good physical condition, but you also have to be able to work with other firefighters. You are team players together. You have to operate the hose together. You have to, if you're going in a burning building with someone, you have to be able to trust them and know that they can rely on you and you can rely on them. So that's really good advice from Kevin. Now let's focus on Sparky. We're gonna be drawing and coloring this guy right here. We're going to be using some simple tools we're going to need today. Paper, obviously. Pencil with an eraser, because we know if we make a mistake, we can erase. And then just a few crayon colors. You're definitely going to need a black because Dalmatians are black and white. Okay, go get those items. I'm going to get my board prepped because when I draw with you today, I am going to be working on this white board. I've taped my paper to it. All right, go get those things. All right, I'm glad you are back with me. I have taped my paper onto this board. And I always told my students when we're drawing that the position of the paper is important. So you're gonna want your paper to be, I call this a tall tower or a hot dog bun as opposed to this horizontal way that paper can be or a hamburger bun. So we want it to be tall tower. And when we're thinking about drawing today, we're going to be using simple shapes. And so if you're thinking about this rectangle uh, shape of a paper, we're going to start with the head and that is going to be a circle shape. And again, you know, if we make a mistake, we can erase. So here we go. Let's draw together. So I'm going to start with a, at the top, a round circle 
shape. And I've drawn sparkies so many times and I've colored them so many times. And even though my sparkies look a lot alike, they're never identical. And that's the fun of it. So I've got my circle. Now I'm gonna do my body. When I do the body, I'm gonna kind of go down and sort of make um, a narrow hill shape. And I'm not going all the way to the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going, you know how dogs, when they sit, their legs, their back legs kind of go out. So I'm going to go down and then I'm going to go over. It's almost going to look like a frog's position, like a frog. So I'm going to kind of go down and go down and around. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to draw his back paws. So I'm just going to kind of do sort of a little flowery shape. One, two, three, you know, how many of our little paws I can get there, little feet, toes, two, three, four. And then I'm going to draw his front legs because when a dog is sitting, um, their back paws, their legs have to kind of bow out like that, and then their front paws are stabilizing them. So I'm going to get sort of in the middle of his chest. I'm going to draw a rectangle but not close it up. And then next door, so two parallel lines, but I'm not going to the bottom and I'm not starting at the top. But you know, if you did that, you wanted to erase it, you didn't like it, you could. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna draw some little nails here. Little claws here. Kind of looks funny, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to add the tail. The tail is going to be like a crescent. So I'm going to go up and then I'm going to come back down. I want a little point. Mm -hmm. Now the ears. Sometimes I have a hard time at drawing ears. I'm going to start at the top of the head and kind of, oops, I hit my tape here. I'm gonna kind of go around and then I'm gonna go around again. That's a cute Sparky. Now I'm gonna add in some details with his face, which are gonna be easy. I'm gonna add a circle shape or oval shape for the eye, whichever you want to do. That looks kind of creepy. So we're gonna fill that in. We're going to be coloring those in black. Now, when I do the nose, I like to do an oval. Sometimes it ends up being a circle. I think my favorite nose shape for Sparky is an oval. And then we're going to be drawing under the nose some lines that kind of smile up like a little hook shape. One to this uh, direction and then one in the opposite direction. And then his mouth, but I'm not going to close it up because I'm going to add a tongue. I'm not kind of getting around. There we go. There's his little tongue. Now, I can't forget his collar. This is a special dog, so I'm going to add a scoop and then a circle, and then I'm going to put a giant S in there for Sparky. Now, how easy is that? Now, we have to go and add some random patches for his black dots in his fur. So you're going to want to do this um, randomly. I wouldn't do them even in a circle or a real nice shape because they can be kind of organic and squiggly, but not too squiggly. So I'm gonna add one at the top, sort of like that. That's gonna be a patch of black. And then I'm going to add maybe one on the ear and then on the tip of the ear and then one over here can be sort of in the middle, maybe another little spot right there, maybe one or two on his cheeks down here, wherever you want to add those little patches. They're just going to be random. You've got to get one in the tail. I'm going to make the top of my tail um, have a little patch too just all around. This can be 
very random. I wouldn't put too many and I wouldn't make them too rounded. So add in your little black patches and then you're going to take your black crayon and you're going to want to trace all of these areas. So you're just going to want to, wherever you've got your pencil, you're going to want to trace because you're going to fill in eventually with all of your colors. You know, trace all of the spaces with black and then you're going to come back around. Let me just trace in one of those patches and you're going to fill that in. Remember, we've talked before about the fact that when you're coloring, you're going to you're going to shade in your strokes are going to be in the same direction and you're going to want them to be small in the small spaces. You're going to want to fill in his eye to in all of those spaces that we said were going to be black, you're going to fill those in. Um, when you're doing the tongue, I'm going to go ahead and trace that. I'm going to use a pink there. So just fill in the tongue with pink. And then you can pick whatever color you want for your S. You know, everything's going to be black and white, but your collar can be whatever color you want it to be. So you can fill that in um, however you like, whatever color you want. And I always like to do his little metal with yellow um, because I think that's um, a golden metal. I should have traced that first. So you're going to be filling all that in. I'm going to show you again my completed, this is the one that I, now here is my completed Sparky that I did before um, this session with you. I wanted you to see what a completed dog would look like and you wouldn't have to watch me fill all this in. You know, as I said before, I've drawn a lot of Sparkies. They look similar, but no two Sparkies are ever identical. Well, I had a lot of fun drawing with you today. I hope you enjoyed this session. We have learned so much about fire prevention and fire safety. We've learned about firefighters and we've got to have fun drawing Sparky, the fire dog, the mascot of the firehouse. Don't forget to close up this activity by writing Sparky's name and also sign your name. You are proud of your artwork. Now, as always, make sure you're being fire smart, not only in the month of October, but all year long. And before we close up, I'm going to recommend if you like Fly Guy books, this one is Fly Guy Presents Firefighters. If you want to know more about firefighters, check this book out. It is a nonfiction book with this cute little fly character leading the way. All right, kids, as always, stay safe, keep reading, keep drawing, and have a good one.